This is the Weevil Eye kit, and it includes the Weevil Eye PCB, and it also includes two LEDs. They're red and diffused. It includes one 47K resistor, and includes two 220 ohm resistors, one transistor, and a miniature photo cell, a coin cell battery holder, and a 20 millimeter coin cell battery. And you might want to wear safety goggles because when you're clipping the leads off some of these parts, it could go flying into your eye. Okay, for your first part, it's the 47K resistor and it'll be colored with stripes, yellow, purple, and orange. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is bend the legs downward. This will help you be able to put it into the PCB easily. And you're gonna to wanna to turn it over and bend the legs slightly outward so it'll hold it into place. And now grab your soldering iron and holding the soldering iron sweet spot so it touches both the leg and the metal ring, hold it there for two to three seconds. Pull the solder away first and then the iron so that the solder doesn't get stuck to your PCB. And your solder joint should look like this, a tiny little volcano. And go ahead and solder the next leg into place. And then clip off the excess of your legs. The next two parts are the 220 ohm resistors. Uh, each of them can go in the next spots that are marked 220 that are silk screen on the PCB. Just match the resistors to the correct positions on the board and then solder them just like we did on the first step. The next step is the transistor and it's the only three pin device on this board. So as you'll see on the PCB, there's a flat side and you're gonna wanna match that up with the flat side of the transistor. That way it'll make it so it'll go in there correctly because this part is polarized. Then we're gonna put in the photo cell and this part fits in the slot marked at the bottom of the board and the orientation on this device doesn't matter. Now let's do the LEDs. What you're gonna to wanna to look for is the legs on the LEDs. The positive one is the longest leg of the LED. So that'll go in the left hole. Now for our last part, the battery clip, you're gonna to wanna to turn the board over and place it on the bottom side of the board. And the polarization does matter on this part as well. And the easiest way to, to figure out which way it goes is just put the, the flat part of the top and the round part of the bottom like the silk screen indicates. Once you put it in, just flip it over and solder it in place on the top of the board. Then all you gotta do is put the 20 millimeter coin cell battery into the battery holder uh, and you put it in positive side up and if you're in a dark room, the light should light up and if not, then put your finger over the sensor and that should make it dark enough for your LEDs to light up.